What's happening, everybody? Man, uh, happy King Day to you. Uh, man, I'm just getting up, and I'm seeing all this stuff on TV, man. Look, I'm going to tell all you celebrities, black, minority, all of you, man, athletes, man, all of you. Look, let me tell you something. There's a strategic plan that people are trying to make you a part of, okay? So do not accept any invitation to have any meeting. No matter how positive you think the outcome may be, without understanding, man, people have a very willy lynch agenda, okay? And you being there, being seen with them, taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it, but now you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent us. Okay, man, so let me be specific with you, man. I'm explaining to you in great detail, all right, step by step. I seen all these people over the weekend going back and forth in and out there, man, offices. And if you want to take a picture, then cool. That's what you do. But let me show you exactly where they're coming from, okay? They seen how adamantly against him being president, the hip-hop community, and the young black people was in America. So what did they do? They get Kanye West to come in. Well, he's their representative. They listen to his music. They buy his shoes. They go see him in concert. Well, surely if we take a picture with him, he smiles and says he's cool with it. They'll fall right in line. Okay, and also, you know, you got black women, you know, they were against it. Well, who speaks to the black women? Steve Harvey. Let's get him in here. He'll take a picture. He'll smile. He'll say it's cool. They'll fall right in line. Who else? They love football. Let's get Ray Lewis. Let's get Jim Brown. They were the heroes. Surely if they say they cool with it. And also on the on the week where you're going back and forth with Martin Luther King, homeboy, one of the most prolific civil rights activists of our times, you're going to get Martin Luther King's son or Martin Luther King Day to come in there and meet with you? And y'all got to see this, man. Divide or conquer. Okay, so this may sound a bit more critical, you know what I mean? And not that I want to sit at a judgmental seat or that I'm holier than thou or nothing like that, man. But, I mean, I don't want kids looking at this, man, to think just because I ain't saying nothing that I'm all right with it, you know what I mean? Uh, and first of all, let me tell you this. There's nothing wrong with sitting down across from anybody, no matter how different your views may be from theirs or, you know, what, how different your backgrounds may be. Uh, as long as they give you the basic human decency of respecting your 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 values, respecting your ancestors' legacies, and, and, and they're not representing hate groups that are adamantly against your advancement and progressions as a people, all right? With that being said, Kanye, what the fuck you doing, man? Steve, man, you know way better than them, man. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown, really? Martin Luther King, man, it's your goddamn daddy. Birthday, bro. You gonna go and sit down with, hey, man, divide and conquer, bro. You know what I mean? Willie Lynch, read up on it. Don't be a part of it. Be against it.